So, hallo meine lieben Freunde und herzlich willkommen zurück auf meinem Kanal. Ich bin euer Daudi Nato und ich darf euch super herzlich begrüßen zu einer weiteren Folge Red Dead Redemption. Wir sind immer noch auf dem Friedhof und ich muss... Shit, it's the law. Let's go, maybe we can get out that gate. Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Einfach mit John folgen, würde ich jetzt mal so sagen. Dann packen wir das. Gehst du bitte wieder runter? Ich drück die ganze Zeit hier runter. Komm schon. Komm schon. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. That's enough creeping around. That man spells trouble, don't he? Oh, mal Glück gehabt. Wo ich es dann vorher noch probiert habe, also in der letzten Folge noch probiert habe, am Ende <lacht> haben mich die Hunde entdeckt und dann ja, recht gehabt. So, jetzt bringen wir das dem Italiener, den Beweis und dann... Und mal schauen, ob er uns den Jungen wieder rausgibt, ne? Alright, let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. You coming in with me? Yeah, ja, ja, ich komme mit mit dir, mein Freund. Wenn das mit dem Baller losgeht, dann bin ich da, mein Freund. <coughs> well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Hey. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not the shit in the house. Just simple country boys. Endet doch wieder in der Kacke, Mann. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Passion you. I hear you. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. 
Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. gut um den gekümmert. Die könnten dem mehr bieten als der andere. Also sein echter Vater. Das ist ein richtig guter Vater halt, ne? Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back! What I think I see doing? Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Den Beute erhalten? Geiler Sache, Mann. Angel Bronte, Ehrenmann. Ja, yeah. ja. Wo ist eigentlich mein Zelt? Im Haus? Ich glaube, wir gehen erstmal einen saufen. <laughs> Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Ach, das, das ist der Untertitel von dem. Oh, Mann. Überall was zu saufen, sehe ich gerade hier. Und rein damit. Ja, ja, ja. So viel Party hätte ich auch gerne mal. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. 
Und rein damit. Und dann geschützt Bett, ne? Dann können wir morgen nochmal drüber reden. Das denn? Dann setze ich mich mal hin und geh weg. <lacht> Was geht da nicht mehr? Ach, das ist. Ach, das ist Hosse ist sein Zimmer oder was? Ist dann mein Zimmer? Oben. Mal ja mal gucken, ey. Ist alles ein bisschen so verdreht, ne? La puta madre. Oh ja, ich glaube hier wohne ich. Oh, 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 oh. Ähm, ich will nur schlafen. Ich will mich nicht rasieren. Ich will pennen. Oh. Schnell. Es geht doch die Schnellreise. Ja, geht doch schlafen. Morgen. Vier Stunden. Perfekt. Briefe halten. Da liegt ein Brief im Weg, du Pfeife. Oh Mann, ey, das ist... Ah, 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 da war's gerade. Brief untersuchen. My dear Arthur. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Ja, meine Verflossene hat mir wieder einen Brief geschrieben. Sie ist in Saint Denis und äh, hat Kacke im Namen. Aber das machen wir erst später, würde ich mal so sagen. Wir penden da jetzt eigentlich im grazilen größten Bett eigentlich hier. Keiner. Hier drüben ist die Bandenkasse, so wie es aussieht. Oh. Zahle ich nichts ein, hat sich nämlich nie gelohnt. Auch nicht am Pennen. Wir pinten ja eigentlich. 
Oh, Hosse, ja, ja. Oh, Marvelous. Ah, ich höre ihn schon. Ah, herrlich. So, dann gucken wir gerade mal. Oder warte mal, wir gehen mal zur Essensstelle, würde ich mal so sagen. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. To I don't mean to cut you off, but can we chat later? Oh, all right. Not a problem, Mr. Morgan. Ich hätte gerne was zu essen. Nur ein bisschen. Oh. Oh. So, jetzt ist die Frage, was machen wir jetzt mit der Quest? Äh, gehen wir zu Jose oder zu Mary Beth? Ah, der goldene Käfig. Das ist die Party. Und was ist das? Mary Beth? Nein, nein und nochmals nein. Mary Beth muss ich mit dir sprechen. Ich würde mal sagen, wir machen die Mary Beth Quest. What time did I go to sleep? Mary? Oh, das Hello, okay. Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. <laughs> we need more guns. <laughs> you can you can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, uh, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in conflict. Oh, I have no money to have a revolver, but only munition. Suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. I have lost my tomahawk. I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. Do you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. Oh, falsch abgebogen. Oh. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You was fish. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. 
I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Mm. I'll get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> ganz leise rein. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> After them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh. We're coming for you, you bastard. Ah. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. Well, that was a beauty, Arthur. Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Ah. You picked the wrong girl. Oh. oh, look at these cowards! All right, I think that last one's the boss. Last of women, we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on, get him, Arthur. Oh, die gehen mir langsam auf den Sack, Mann. Je weiter er abhaut, umso weiter muss ich ihn zurücktragen. Machen wir jetzt noch fertig, oder? Würde ich mal so sagen. Oh, ein schönes geflecktes Reitross. You have the first idea what you're getting into. Damn coward. What the hell? You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, oh, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Pow. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? Shut the hell up. All right, all right, damn it. Oh. 
Okay. Dum, dum, dum. Ich wette, die haben Geld in dem Haus. Müssen wir noch. Mal angucken hier. Got a present for you. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Huh. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. So, meine lieben Freunde, ich würde dann gerade an dieser Stelle auch sagen, machen wir Feierabend. Wir sehen uns dann in der nächsten Folge wieder, Leute. Hoffentlich hat es euch ein wenig gefallen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein, Leute. Ciao.